Just a little catch up on our babies. So this is Izzy's and Lexi's babies in there. <laughs> and over in this one, these are Gypsy's babies. They are four weeks now. There's mum. <laughs> so she can come up the little walkway and into her side. And then the other mums can come into their side. And there's, a, um, there's a heat pad in there. Let me just open this gate. Oops. Oh, hello. No, it's not time to come out. It's bedtime. All right, I won't open the gate. There's the other mum, Izzy. Hey, Izzy Pops. Hey, baby. Hello. So one of those babies is Izzy's and the other one's is Lexi's. And Lexi's lying over there eating her little treat before bed. Um, and there's Gypsy with her babies. I'm starting to toilet train now, which is nice. Now you two need to go to bed. Off you go, you need to go to bed. These two just want to play. It's bedtime, I'm going to bed. You guys all need to go to bed too. <laughs> oh dear, no, they just want to play. All right, you two go off to bed because I'm going to turn the lights off now. Everyone go to bed. No, no, see you all in the morning. No, don't come out of bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Go to bed. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I do acrylic pouring. I do flip cup pours, ring pours, swipes, um, blooms. I've recently just started out in resin. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those sorts of medias, feel free to subscribe and follow me. Now, today's pour is a ring pour. Now, this is one that I've done, oh, that was a while ago. It was last year. I don't even know if I can fit that whole thing in. Mm, no, I can't fit it in exactly, but that's it there. So it's one, two, three, four five rings um, and then tilted up and tilted down to give this gorgeous effect kind of looks like um, tree trunks doesn't it so that's it there um, so similar colors to this one but I am I'll just put it away I do need to give credit to Katie Schinkel hi Katie love your chocolate ring pour so i'm going to do something similar hopefully to what katie did in the um in the brown tones for a ring pour um so i've got black and white i have got extra black because i'll use it for my edges um, and then i've got three shades of brown so i've got a dark brown and then a yellow brown and a red brown so the colors they're all the Montmartre's the dark brown is burnt umber and then the reddish brown is burnt sienna and then the yellowy brown I mixed some of this yellow ochre or okra with a little bit of the burnt umber and a little bit of the <laughs> burnt sienna just to make a kind of a yellowy a yellowy brown so that's what I'm going to do uh, the pouring medium is it's it is my usual 60 30 glue and water but then I added some GAC 800 just to see if I can get the colors to kind of blend like a creamy smooth kind of a blended look I'll show you I don't know it's hard to explain but just to get that sort of glossiness to it I guess that's the consistency it's 
pretty thick. Mound on a mound on a mound. Pretty thick. I wouldn't do flip cut paws with that. It's way too thick. Too thick for cells. Now, I might just have to add, I don't know. The black, the brown I had to add more, I had to add water to because it was so thick. And the black I had to add water to as well. Let's just be the dark colours. <clears throat> might just put just a little bit more water into that black. So I use half of the black in my cup when I layer it. And then the rest of the black I'll thin right down. And I'll use that as my flow enhancer to go around my puddle. So I'm not going to do my traditional ring pour when I do the really tight little um, rings like that. It's quite tight, the rings. I'm going to try for something more of a, a ribbon kind of a look. See that one there as well? That's quite tight with the rings. Pretty, but they're quite Quite thin and round looking, which is fine. But today I'm going to try and get more of like a ribbon effect. Oh, uh, this one. Oh, paintings everywhere. Ow. More like this sort of effect. Sort of. <laughs> I wiped my hand underneath it. It was sharp under there. Um, see how this one's more of a, a ribbon, sort of an overlapping 3D kind of a look. So I'm going to try for something like that in this pour. We'll see what happens. I may get it, I may not. Actually, while I'm showing you ring paws, I should show you. I'll show you this one as well. This is pretty cool. This was a um oh what was that? I can't even remember. Jiggle paw maybe because I've got these fingerlings. So anyway, not for show and tell. Let's get going. Got lots of things here I could show you. Um now I don't have a cup. Uh, what am I gonna use? I'll use my jug. Here it is, just a, a jug. Um, actually, no, it's going to be too big. I'll just use a paper cup. That should be fine. I'll just use a paper cup. It's quite a big cup. And where's the crease there? So I'll pour from this side. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to layer the paints in the cup. And... Uh, do like a ribbon pour. It is a ring pour, but more of a ribbon pour. Right. Let's get to layering. I'm not sure how many. So as you can see, I'm going lightest to darkest. I thought, we'll see how that goes. Lightest to darkest. Because usually I alternate, go light, dark, light, dark. But I want a light center. So that's why I'm going with the light. And I think the white with that yellowy brown should look quite nice together. Probably aim for put a little bit more white in because the white gets stuck to the bottom and you lose most of it when you tip it, tip your cup up. So maybe three layers. Just pour down the side. I will take the tripod down to the the side of the table again once I pour. So that still feels thick, gloopy. Add a little bit more water to it. It's hard to tell until you start actually pouring it out. That you think, oh yeah, definitely too thick. Added quite a bit of water to it now. I hope it doesn't split. Let's see how this one is when it pours out. Oh, it's pouring out okay. Actually, I probably don't need that much black though. Oh, well, it's done now. It's done now. Um... Now, I don't want to put the white next to the black because, you know, it's going to go grey. So let's just put a little bit of this one down first. And then I'll do the white. And then we'll just keep going with the layers. Same order. And the black. And... Let's just change this one up. Oh no, let's go back to that one. Looks like three layers is it. Just scrape that out. So 
this is a 20 no it isn't it's a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas which is 12 by 16 inches I am going to be ordering some um, 12 inch square 30 centimeter square canvases they haven't arrived yet so when they get into stock with my mart I'll order some because that's just a nice nice little square size I think so I'll be doing that this is a lot of paint I probably don't need I probably don't need all that flow extender actually I always seem to have too much paint because I do want to you know stretch this and open it out a little bit open the rings up okay some black all right now the rest of that black I'll just put over there for a minute and um, see if I need any more righto now I'm just gonna move you down to the side okay are we ready to do this pour now I'll pinch it a little bit, but I don't, as I said, I don't want really thin, small rings. I want more of a, a ribbon. So, and I'm actually going to pour, because it's a rectangle canvas, I'm actually going to sort of pour it more of an, as, as an oval rather than as a circle. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I can, but anyway, let's see what happens. And as we get to the center, slow it down a little bit because this is where the white is going to come out. That was a pretty fast pour, wasn't it? Did you see how I kind of overlapped a little bit? And that was a little bit, probably a little bit fast to see. I'm actually just moving this back a little bit so I can get a little bit more white out. A bit more of a, a pretty design. Look at that. Looks yummy, doesn't it? Mmm. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to get my gloves off. <laughs> and uh, I'll put you back on the table. Right. You're back on the table now. Let's get my gloves back on. So I can already see that this side has got more colour on it. So I'm going to like that side more than this side. But let's, um, I'm not going to need all that black. Let me get a smaller cup. Because some of that black I can keep maybe for another painting. I only need a little bit of this because I'm basically going to mix it 50-50 with water. So I'll just keep a little bit of that uh, with my water. Oh, right in front of me. And I'll just cover the top with water. Now this needs to be really thin, otherwise this big puddle of paint isn't going to be able to go up over it. And we want it to go over it nice and smoothly so there's no mound there at all in the cup all right let's pour some of that out most of it there for the corners see a little bit goes a long way when you thin it out like that doesn't it wouldn't have thought that, that would be enough hopefully it is enough I've got some more there if I need it, but that should be enough. Okay, now I'll take my little palette knife. Got a few little cells popping up in there, as you do with the different densities of paint. They do create cells on their own. 
the more dense or heavy paints they tend to drop to the back um, and then the lighter paints or semi-transparents I don't think there's any transparency in here Mark Mark don't do any transparency unfortunately they just do opaque and semi-transparent or semi-opaque I might see if I can get this black to go over the edges as well actually oh, doesn't it look nice with the black around it mmm yummy not sure about this yellowy okra color hopefully it'll be all right I won't spend any more time on doing my sides I'll just leave it like that I know you guys want to itching to see what it's going to turn out like so let's just get oops <laughs> palette knife dropped off that cup um so i'm going to go side to side first and kind of stretch it to the sides because these are almost going over so i'll just actually now i might just do a big circle and push the paint to the edges a little bit rather than stretch it into a rectangle now come back to the middle It's got a little bit of greyish happening there. The white and the black do mix a little bit, even though I tried to keep them separate. Now, what side do I like better? Um, so anyway, I'm just going to go off and do each corner. Let's go to this one first. Over the corner. And then... Come back to the middle I may actually come back to this corner here because the weight of the paints kind of wants to go that way it's flowing that way already just over and back oh I like that back to the middle and then off to this corner down near me Try and keep some of that chocolate brown, but see how easily it's just flowing because of my thin flow enhancer. Now back to the opposite corner. I'm tipping that way. It wants to go that way. The rings are staying in their shape. A, because they're nice and thick, and B, because the flow extender is making it really easy for everything to just flow around on. bring it back to the middle and then I can have a little look at it and see if there's anything I want to change I'll turn it around so that you can see a bit better still need to bring it back to that corner there I think I'll I might take off that corner so it's just chocolate brown I don't really like what that loopy loops doing I do like this area up here more, which is what I thought I would. Just get that little corner to go off. And that's it. Oh, off you go. Now you don't have to bring everything back to the middle. You know, if you like it a bit off center like that, that's fine. You don't have to bring it all back to the middle. I like that like that. I think if I put brought it more that way, that yellow would open up more. And the yellow is quite, quite dominant. I do like that. Look at my gorgeous little cells. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to torch it because more cells are going to pop up. What's that? Something in there. What is that? Little blob of something let's add it just a touch of paint and just cover that there we go you never know right what do you think well it's not as good as yours katie i don't think i like this yellow in there the other colors i really like not quite sure about that grey. Over here, 
Over here, look at that. My white is just pure white. But uh, further up here, I guess it's when I, you know, moved my cup like that, it kind of got shooken up a little bit. So it's it has mixed and, and made a bit of a grey. But um, it's still really pretty, isn't it? I love the light centre. Let's go down for a close-up. Can I turn that off? I'll turn off that big ring light, then I can come around here without the ring reflecting okay so look at the rings gorgeous look at my little tiny cells so just the way that i poured it in the ribbon see i've got thicker areas and then i've got these little thin stripes it just adds to the interest, doesn't it, rather than every ring being the same. Like those ones that I showed you earlier, you know how each ring was exactly the same width? These ones, because I did the ribbon, they're all different and it just adds to the interest, I think. Love that centre. So pretty. So I've got the, the lighter sort of orangey colour on that side and then we've got the, the darker browns on this side. Try and get a picture of it without being so glary. Love that corner. Oh, look at that. I've missed my corner. I'm going to have to go and fix my corners up. I'll do that off camera. Okay. Turn that one off as well. Oh, look at that. Why don't, I don't know why I use lights sometimes. Seriously. You just don't get the correct colour, do you? All a bit glary. Look at that. That's your true colours. I'll take a photo of it anyway and pop it up on... Um, a Facebook group so that you can see the the true colors it's a song about true colors isn't it I'm not gonna sing though <laughs> oh. all right here we go okay love it definitely have to try these again and work out how I can get rid of that grayish tone but um, that orangey tone I am liking that one so, um, yeah, I'll definitely go again. So hit that little notification bell. Subscribe, hit the bell so that uh, you can keep up to date with all my paws. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one, hey? All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.